I'm standing in front of WFO's heavy duty JK tie rod. I wanted to show you guys the difference between the stock JK tie rod and our aftermarket heavy duty tie rod, and it is significant. It's by far the biggest JK tie rod on the market. Uh, most of the Jeeps that we put together are built to go up and run the Rubicon, and as we know on the JKs, the tie rod is low hanging and it's the first thing to hit the rocks. So we decided to just make it way overkill and kind of be the rock smasher. So what you're looking at right here is a stock JK tie rod. This guy went over the Rubicon one time, and if you look at it, it is bent and smashed and destroyed. Has a couple rock scratches on the bottom. Um, if you take a peek here at the ends, this is the factory JK forged tie rod end, and you can tell that the aftermarket tie rod ends that we have made, the forgings are inch and a quarter in diameter, inch and a quarter threads here. And the other thing about these is the cartridges are rebuildable. So here's the end forging, and here's the cartridge, and the cartridge threads in to the end forging. So if or when you actually wear out your cartridge, you can just buy the cartridge and replace it. You don't have to buy the whole end. So that's kind of a nice feature on this. Another nice feature on this is we have right and left hand threads on the, on the inch and a quarter tie rod ends that go in here. But as every JK is, the tie rod has a slight bend in it. So if you smash on a rock, it has a tendency to loosen the jam nuts or tie rod ends. So if you zoom in here, right behind the jam nut is a serrated cupped washer. And this washer will dig in and when you tighten the jam nut down on it, it will keep the jam nuts from coming loose when you're on the trail. So this material is two inch quarter wall DOM tubing. And these are our tube inserts that we make in house. Um, we weld them together. And then this is the steering stabilizer clamp that comes with the kit. This allows you to put your factory steering stabilizer back in in the factory position. This also can be used for hydro assist later on if you decide to add a ram. And this is also 3 8 thick, uh, clamped super tight, it's not gonna move. So it is worth spending the money for this tie rod. It is not gonna bend, it's not gonna leave you stranded. Uh, what we'll do now is, I've always wanted to do this, I'm gonna take the stock tie rod, go over the bandsaw, cut it in half, and then I will show you guys a cross section of how thick our tie rod is compared to the stock one, so we'll be right back. All right, we just cut a stock JK tie rod in half just to show you the cross section of what the difference is between these two. And here's the stock JK tie rod. And this is inch and three eighths material, three sixteenths wall on the factory one. Our aftermarket one is two inch quarter wall DOM material. So the strength is made in diameter and wall thickness. You take the stock tie rod, you can actually drop it right through the center of our heavy duty tie rod. So if you want something that's not gonna leave you stranded on the trail, get you home, look good, and last for a long time, this is the tie rod you want. One more thing, the fit and finish on these things is amazing. So the tie rod itself is powder coated in a color we call hot rod black. Looks gray sometimes, look black, looks black other times. The clamp is painted with zinc bolts and the jam nut is zinc plated as well. And the end forging is painted. It also has some really heavy duty poly anti-rock bushings. So there will be nothing else needed to do but bolting this into your Jeep. There's no spray painting or rust happening. You put this on your Jeep, it will look amazing for a long time.